Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We have mail. Missing, I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 in it for whoever finds the, finds the thing from Robin. And we are going to accept that. And let's go and grab that. So we made our first copper ingot. There we go. And let's see, yeah, that needs to be fulfilled at some point. And we still need to create four more, four more people. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so let's actually sell the spring onions and let's sell the coral. Let's sell one of these and we can go and uh, donate all these remaining things. The topaz, the uh, scroll and the quartz to the museum but first I really want to clear my inventory a little bit so let's take care of these so let's put that away we don't need the rusty sword now we bought a new one a wooden blade uh, in the previous episode when we were exploring the mines so let's put that away we still need a little bit more clay to be able to get the silo <laughs> it's going to take us a while it's definitely going to take us a while. Um, let's take the geodes with us. We might be able to take those to the blacksmith. And I can see that there's some flowers here. So let's see. We could go ahead and sell. Sell some of these. That should be giving us a little more money. And let's sell that one too. And let's keep this one. Maybe we can give it as a present to someone. And let's put it there. And there's one parsnip that's ready also. Let's put it away. Um, did we actually take one here? We did. Okay. So we, you know what? So let's take those two and sell them. Sell them. We definitely need the money. <laughs> and can we collect this? Yes, we need a scythe for that. And where is it? I'm holding it. Okay, so let's take care of those. There's some kale. Let's keep one just in case if uh, we need it for something and we can sell the re rest of those. And we need to do some watering before we go and venture to the unknown again. Yeah, so in this episode we are going to go and visit the museum. We need to donate those those uh, three items to Gunther. I believe that was the, the uh, museum keeper's name. I'm, I'm not sure though. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, let's take care of these crops. So let's go to the museum and check out the beach while we are at it. And let's see what else we can do today. And we are out of water. Yeah, so it, it will definitely take us a little while to get past this starting Starting, starting moments with the game when we are struggling with with money a lot and and watering the plants one by one. <laughs> it's taking ages at this point. Oh, and I need to, whoops, put some water there too. Okay, but we are ready to go. Let's go south. Let's go and check out. If we can find anything to sell some spring onions again we are running on the 11th of spring actually and there's something here you smells why is it locked i want to explore the sewers I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther? Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Who? Why do you think he has it? 
I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one day, one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. Interesting. There's something moving around in there. I wonder what that was. So there's another mystery related to the town. <laughs> Let's actually go and check out the sewer if we can see any any hints. And there seems to be a lot more of the spring onions now, so that's awesome. Let's go and grab all of these. And are there any clues here? It's locked. Yeah, so we can't do anything with that at this uh early stage of the game. Oh, and there's a butterfly. I just love all the details in this game. It's amazing. Like all these little lily pads and all those. And those are uh, ripples here actually mean that this, there's a um, better chance for fishing in that spot. So that's something that we need to do too. I'm not sure if we are going to do it today. Actually, let's let's go ahead and do that. I just need to go back and get my fishing rod and we can sell those uh, spring onions at the same time. Okay, let's see where did I put it. There we go, bamboo pole. And let's go and sell these. Awesome. Ooh, and there's a little little daffodil. Is there anything else that we can collect? Ooh, I almost missed that. That's not good. Yes, some clay. That's awesome. And I'm pretty sure we are pretty close to getting the silo now. So that's going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and go to the beach. It's locked. I'm very curious to see what what is it uh, all about with the sewer. I have no idea. Okay, is there anything here that we can collect? I'm not seeing anything right now. I need just some coral. Okay, that's at least one. <laughs> There's so few of these right now. Okay, there's another one. But sometimes you can get like seven or even more. But anyway, we can we can get some money from those. And actually we can just go ahead and sell this right away. Since the shop uh, should be open right now. Okay, let's go. Hi, Willy. Awesome, we got a little bit of money from those. So let's go back and let's go to the museum next. <laughs> I love the birds in this game. And yeah, so we have some people that we haven't met. I'm pretty sure we have met this guy already. So I need to, let's actually check out. Oh, George, we haven't met George yet. What is this madness? <laughs> oh, goodness. I know where these guys live. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We can actually, we can 
uh, hopefully, let's try to get the achie achievements or the um, quest for the introductions done in this episode. Okay, donate to museum. We have plenty of things. We have some... Ooh, a new reward. So that's awesome. Let's put it right there and let's put this there. And that's it. And we can also collect the rewards. So we got some cauliflower seeds. So that's awesome. Some free seeds. Um, can we can we read the book? It's weird because it's floating there. So we should be able to read it, but we can't. <laughs> but anyway, let's go here. Let's have a little museum tour, I guess. Can we read that? No. Dwarf scroll one, a yellow scroll of parchment filled with dwarven scripts. This one's tied with a red bow. Anchor, it may have belonged to ancient pirates. Chewing stick, ancient people chewed on this to keep their teeth clean. <laughs> ancient doll, an ancient doll covered in grime. Grime? Not crime, grime. <laughs> this doll may have been used as a toy, a decoration, or a prop for some sort of ritual. Right starfish, a starfish from a bromidial ocean. It's an unusual pristine specimen. Fairly common, topaz, but still prized for its beauty. So that was awesome. Whoops. <laughs> so we have donated some new things to the museum. We got some free seeds. That's always very much appreciated. Uh, let's. Uh, oh, actually, let's see if this is still open. No, don't eat it. No, it just closed. Why? Okay, we, so we need to wait for the geodes to be able to open those. So let's put these away. Actually, they're just bugging me right now. There we go. And let's go and meet some people. This is the mayor's house. I do know that. Um, have we met you? I'm pretty sure we have. Yes. So let's go over here. We have met Alex. We have met Pam, I'm pretty sure. And there we go, there's George. The favorite program is on. But we have two more. Two more people to meet. So let's see if we can find those guys. Um, who, are me who are we missing? We are missing the yellow haired one. And this guy. So let's just walk around the town a little bit and try to find those people. I've seen the yellow head one hang around this area quite a bit. I forgot what the girl's name is. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, let's go over here. Oh, there's someone. Hi, Abigail. Okay, there's Maru. And can we... There we go. Okay, Sebastian. So I believe we are only missing. Yes, we are only missing one person in the entire village. So we need to keep our eye on on that girl. <laughs> I think she actually lives on the other side of the town, if I remember correctly. So let's go see if we can find her her house. And let's check the map. I believe it was... I think it's Haley. So let's go and see. Maybe we can find her. 
And what's this? Help wanted, trying to keep the art. Oh, this is the same one. Okay. Sorry, Willy. <laughs> we are not going to take that now. And I believe it was this house. So let's go and maybe we can... Yes, there we go. And there we go. She is a very vain little girl. <laughs> but we got the um, achievement now. And we need to give someone a gift. Uh, do we have anything? We have a flower. We could actually go, oh, go ahead and... There we go. For me? Thank you. And we got 100 gold from that. So we, we were finally able to fulfill the very first quest that we got. <laughs> it took us a little while, but we got there eventually. And whoops, okay, wrong way. No, no, no. And let's go and fish a little bit and see if, if we are lucky with the fish today. I doubt it, but, <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, so this is a uh, little mini game of sorts. We need to keep an eye on the fish. We got one. Well, that was amazing. I usually have the worst luck with fishing in this game. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny. Okay, so let's see. We need to keep the uh, cream bar behind the fish. Seriously, guys, guys, I've never had this this good luck this early in the beginning of the game <laughs> with fish. Oh, that's funny. And before we go home, we can actually do something with this fish. Let's see what kinds of fish are we able to get. Whoops, I missed that. I really love this ring. It's definitely helping us to see around even uh, without holding any torches. So that's awesome. We got some Georgia Cola. Anything else? New record. Well, that's awesome. So we uh, have at least one fish that we can sell. And we can go ahead and use this uh, other fish for something else that I can show you in just a bit. So let's try this one more time. That's amazing. Okay, there we go. So we got some smallmouth bass here and some bream and a sunfish. And now we can go and loot some trash cans. <laughs> I always forget to do that. And seriously, this ring is the best thing ever. I don't even need torches right now. <laughs> this is this is amazing. And let's go to the community center even though it's very dark. And spooky. Let's go here, and we have the fish, we a uh, fish tank here, and we can actually start placing some fish here. So that's awesome. Um, we don't have anything else to put here. I think small mouth mouth bass. Um, let's check out these other ones we actually have the eel we could bring it here and the bream let's see tuna sardine specialty no okay we can't use this but we can use this awesome 
And can we use this small mouth bass? Sunfish. Just double checking if I'm missing something. Carp. Okay, I think we are okay. We can't use it these fish for anything else. So that means that we are able to sell them and get some money, which is always very much appreciated. Grr. Sounds like those raccoons are back again, the filthy worms. Oh, you turn up at the right time, at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they don't come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with with that with what I'm doing? No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Mara. I knew you were a open minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. Poor Linus. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell me you're scared of the raccoons for good. <laughs> Wait. You... you I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip, in in my, dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. So there we go, let's make our way back home. I love this ring! This is amazing! <laughs> no more carrying around, carrying a torch around. This is amazing. Okay, so this episode is a little longer than usual, but let's hop over back to the farm. Let's sell this fish and get some money going. That's awesome. We can sell these two and let's sell the cola as well. And I have a habit of emptying my uh, inventory from all the things just to keep it organized. So there we go. Let's go to bed. It's getting late. I know. Let's check this just in case. Woes from, uh, from crow. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Placing a scarecrow on your farmer de deters, deters crows from a uh, pretty good distance. Make sure you protect your valuable crops. Yes. So let's go to bed. And we got a pretty nice amount of money. That's awesome. So thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and I will see you next time in Stardew Valley. Bye bye.